Today we are going to talk to you about HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. When you look at a web page, you are looking at a HTML document in action. HTML files are ASCII text files. A markup code defines a document structure. Internet browsers interpret markup codes so that formatting is displayed. To see a file in its source format, view it in a text editor such as Notepad. Markup codes are visible and editable. To view a page and its source code, open a browser such as Google Chrome. To see the HTML code, right click and select View Page Source. See how the document elements are tagged. For example, there are tags for headers, lists and so on. For example, we have the Wikipedia page of HTML. To view the page's source code, simply right click on the page and choose View Source Code or select Ctrl to see you. The page's source code is thus shown. We can see the use of common HTML tags such as Open HTML, Head, and so on. You can use the notepad and the browser simultaneously to view the changes in a HTML code. For example, make changes in notepad and save these changes. Clicking on the refresh button in the browser will enable you to see your changes. The HTML tag. The first tag in every HTML file is the HTML tag. This tag tells the browser that the file is in HTML. It's indicated by an open HTML and a closed HTML tag. The head tag. The head tag follows the HTML tag. It sets up an area for items that don't appear on the page. For example, the title that appears in the browser window's title bar and keywords that identify your page to the internet. The header section is specified by an opening head tag and a closing head tag after the main HTML tag. The title tag contains the title that appears in the browser window's title bar. The title tag is contained within the head section of a HTML document. The title is not visible in the page itself. The format of the title tag is as follows. An open title tag followed by the document title and ended by a closed title tag. The body section contains the text and graphics that appear on your page. It appears immediately after the head section. The format of the body section is as follows. The open body tag followed by all the text and graphics on the page and finally ended with a closed body tag. The background color of a web page can also be changed as an attribute to the body tag. This is done by specifying the attribute VG color. There is no closing tag required for this attribute. You can use the name of common colors such as green, red, pink, and so on. You can also use the hexadecimal values for these colors. And now we have an example for changing the background color of a web page. The background color is an attribute of the body tag. This is done by specifying the background color within quotes to the attribute BG color. The format of text in HTML can also be changed. This is done by using the font tag. The font tag contains attributes such as size, color, and face. You can combine the font color, size, and face tags in the form of attributes as follows. The end of the formatting is shown through a closed font tag. An example about the use of font tags. Here we have a HTML code to print the following text under the following title. On execution of this program through a browser, we obtain an output as such. 
Font types can be included into this program to change the format of the text. This is done by opening and closing the font tag as well as including the attributes font face, style, and color. Thus, the font of HTML can be changed using the font tags. Images can also be inserted into HTML code. You can insert an image reference using the IMG tag and also the SRC attribute. This is done by specifying the file's path name to the SRC tag. You can also specify the height and width of the image to make the rest of the page load faster. To add an image to a web page, simply use the src attribute of the image tag and include the path of the image to be added.